and I am a Pakistani Christian and I belong to Philadelphia Pentecostal Church of Pakistan. Honorable Speaker, National Assembly of Pakistan, Honorable Parliamentarians, respectable representatives of the diverse communities, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good evening to all of you. I take this opportunity to remind you of the founding father of the nation, Khadiyadam Muhammad Ali Jinnah's vision of Pakistan. In his historic address to the First Constituent Assembly of Pakistan on 11th August 1947, Khadiyadam Muhammad Ali Jinnah said, and I quote, I cannot emphasize it too much. We should begin to work in that spirit. And in course of time, all these angularities of the majority and minority communities will vanish. Indeed, if you ask me, this has been the biggest hindrance to attain freedom and independence. And but for this, we would have been free people long ago. No power can hold an other nation, and especially a nation of 400 million in subjection. Nobody could have conquered you, and even if it had happened, Nobody could have continued its all anew for any length of time. But for this, therefore, we must learn a lesson from this. You are free. You are free to go to your temples. You are free to go to your mosque or any other places of worship in the state of Pakistan. You may belong to any religion or caste or creed. That has nothing to do with the business of the state. We are starting in the days when there is no discrimination, no distinction between one community and another. No discrimination between one caste or creed and another. We are starting with this fundamental principle that we are all citizens and equal citizens of one state. I shall always be guided by the principles of justice and fair play without any. As is put in the political language, prejudice or ill will. In other words, partiality or favoritism. My guiding principle will be justice and complete impartiality. And I am sure that with your support and cooperation, I can look forward to Pakistan becoming one of the greatest nations of the world. With this message from the founding father of the nation,